Are you okay? Yeah, sorry. It's just scary movies aren't really my thing. Oh, well, you, you should have told me. Do you want to see another movie? Oh, no, it's fine. I'm gonna go, I'll be right back. Do you want me to come with you? Oh, no, it's fine, I'm just gonna use the restroom. Are you sure? Yeah, um, do you want this? Oh, you do not want to see me eat chocolate. It's like poison ivy except with more crying. Excuse me. Chances are, you've met some boys from across the lake by now. The Crown Lake boys treasure hunt is soon. The Crown Lake damsels aren't usually invited to join, but you are different, aren't you? You need to go all out to support your favorite scavenger team. You'll get instant cred. sure everything's all right? Yeah, I just get queasy super easily. Probably something I eat. Look, just because the movie was shot in black and white doesn't mean it's not scary. Promise. You have nothing to be ashamed about. You want to get some pie? That sounds nice. Oh, I heard that there was a scavenger hunt. Uh, yeah, it's this weekend. You gonna cheer for me? I was actually wondering if you needed someone on your team from girls? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, that sounds great. Awesome. You didn't tell me to dress up. Have you seriously never played croquet before? Does this thing bounce? The ball's meant to be hit, not thrown. It's a really sophisticated game. It was created in England in the 19th century. Hey, do you know Trip McAllister, my roommate? You kind of seem more like his type. Trip's idea of a date is going to the golf club his grandfather founded. Well, seems like that's what we're playing. More sophisticated version of golf. I thought this would be a fun date activity. Isn't it a law that the most popular guy goes out with the most popular girl? The most popular girl in school goes out with whoever she wants. Maybe, but I, uh, I'll, I'll never be into croquet. More of a foosball kind of guy. Well, how about we play croquet today, and next time you can pick the date. You'll even play foosball? Sure. And I'll crush you. Date? Yeah, are you? Yeah. So I have a question. I need to get good at foosball. Is that something you can help me with? Foosball? Like the game? Why? I might have told Ryan I'm really good at it. Do you just assume because Ryan and I come from similar backgrounds that I should know how to play foosball too? Is that bad? So the key to a good shot is on the wrist. Um, you gotta make sure you give yourself enough room to roll your hand up on the handle and then with speed, crack the ball. I knew you'd be good at this. Snap your wrist sideways when you throw. This. 
What the heck? You'll get better. <sighs> See? Can we call this a truce? Yeah. I've been meaning to ask you, um, the other day, Meriwether said you'd done detention before. What's that about? Just some dumb stuff that happened last year. Leave it. So where were you tonight? All dressed up? I went to the movies with uh, this guy, Josh. He's from Boys. Josh Lewis? How'd you manage that? I don't know, just acted myself. So there's this one couplet in my poem that just feels rhythmically off. Try it on me. Okay. So it goes like... Hey. Hey. We, uh, we still want for later? Totally. Wouldn't miss it. Hey! Someone like you can't go out with someone like him. I can go out with whoever I want. <laughs> Are you going out with him? Kind of. Why? No reason. He's nice, I guess. Actually, I heard he was one of the best players on the scavenger team. I mentioned that. Just be careful, Nellie. Why? Should I knock out? No, you can go out with Josh. Just don't take any of his advances. Don't join the scavenger hunt team. I think I'll be fine. You ready? Yeah, of course. Let's play. Ryan, the thing is, I would love to whip your butt, but I actually have tendonitis in my wrist. From tennis. Tennis tendonitis. For real? Uh, of course. And I'm just as good at tennis as I am at foosball. Oh. Okay. Well, that sucks. Yeah, I, I really wanted to beat you. You want to play video games instead? We've got a Sega. But won't that hurt your wrist too? I meant I'd watch you play. Oh, gotcha. Okay, before we analyze the game plan, I want to tell you all that we have a really good shot at winning today if we lean into our strengths, divide, and conquer. Also, we're lucky to add Nelly to the team. Thanks, Nelly. We're psyched. Very psyched. Let's win this one. Everyone's so nice. Well, we're happy you're on board. All right, team. The 45th annual scavenger hunt will begin now. Hey, guys, wake up. I know something that starts with an F. Hey, that's the last one. Go, go, go. How'd you manage that? <laughs> Man, she's cool. Knows what she's getting into. I just want to find the first chick to be down with the girl rule. Where's Nellie? Not sure, maybe with Josh. In the scavenger hunt. Is that right now? I got it, it's foyer, duh, it's all around us. Hey, we won. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> Why is everyone laughing? Well, the girl rule, I guess, but it's cool, don't worry about him. What's the girl rule? Didn't you know? You gonna kiss me here, 
or here. <laughs> what is he talking about? Well, if a girl joins the winning scavenger hunt, she has to give everybody on the team a kiss. What? Well, not necessarily on the lips. I, I thought you knew. Of course I didn't know. Why didn't you tell me? Hey, leave her alone. Wait. Why didn't you tell me? I tried telling you not to join the team. Then why didn't you? You need to go all out to support your favorite scavenger team. You'll get instant cred. Go back and kick them all in the crotch. Make that the new girl rule. I can't do that. Yes, you can. No, I can't. Don't you see? Neither of us belong here, but you're brave enough not to care. I'm not strong like you are. It's all so clear now. Nellie! Nellie, are you in here? Next time on Crown Lake. What was that all about? That girl rule thing? You're still drinking. You sold the house. Is it some kind of school holiday or something, Nellie?